Playmaker, that mom with a laser here, and today I wanna to talk to you about cleaning your mirrors. Let's face it, nine times out of 10, if you run into cut issues with your machine, it's probably a good sign that you need to clean your mirrors. Think of it like trying to get a tan on a cloudy day. Sure, you're gonna get some sun, but those clouds are blocking those beams from giving you the awesome tan that you were hoping to get. If your mirrors are dirty, then the beam doesn't have a clear path to the material and it can't cut through as well as you want it to. So, to keep your machine cutting as well as you want it to, here's what you need to do. First, you'll want to get your supplies. I like to use parts from a camera lens cleaning kit as well as a few other things. So you'll need a towel or cloth, a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, it's really tiny, a Q-tip, an air blower, a lens cleaning brush, a spray cleaner with 90% isopropyl alcohol, and a microfiber cleaning cloth. You could also skip the alcohol and microfiber cloth and just use lens wipes. Now it's time to clean the mirrors. The first thing I like to do is lower the laser bed and position the gantry and the nozzle somewhere that's gonna be comfortable for me to work with. Then I like to take my cloth and lay it underneath the nozzle. We're gonna be working with really tiny screws and they're very easy to drop and fishing them out of the honeycomb tray and under your laser bed is not fun. Once you're ready, take your tiny Allen wrench and loosen those tiny screws. To remove the mirror and bracket, I simply take a Q-tip, wrap it around my microfiber lens cloth, and gently push out the pieces. Let's see how dirty that mirror has gotten. Ah! Yep, it's definitely overdue for a cleaning. First, you'll want to use your air blower to remove any particles. Then take your brush to remove any remaining dust. Then spray onto your microfiber cloth and wipe. If you spray and wipe on top of the particles, then that's how you'll scratch it. So remember the order. Air blower, brush, wipe. Now it's time to gently put the mirror and bracket back in place and then gently secure the screws back on. Now it's time to clean up mirrors one and two. Mirror one can be found in the back left corner next to the laser tube and mirror two can be found to the left of the gantry. These mirrors don't get as dirty as the one we just cleaned, mirror three. So I like to leave these in place because I don't wanna risk messing up my alignment. So I'm gonna use the same steps that I used before without removing the mirror. First, I'll use my blower, then I'll use my brush, and lastly, I'll take my Q-tip, spray some alcohol on my microfiber cloth, and gently clean my mirror. That's it for today, guys. I hope this was helpful. If you don't follow me already on Instagram or have subscribed on YouTube, please do so. And I'll see you guys here soon over at That Mom with a Laser. Mm -hmm.